October, so it's day 14 of Vlogtober. And today is race day. So I am running a 10K race at Goodwood Racecourse today. Um, it's on the track. I think it's two and a half laps around the track. Um, apparently the track's quite hilly and it has been raining today. Um, yeah, I think when I'm about to run at 10 o'clock, it's 70% chance of rain or 80% chance, so we will see. Can't do anything about it, can I? Um, I can just wear a rain jacket. Um, I'm having a coffee and i am had, well, nearly half my hydromate. I will fill that up again and then I'll fill it up again. I'll take another one with me. Um, I think for breakfast this morning I'm going to have porridge, but I will show you. I just fancy, yeah, but I think I need porridge because I think I need to use my healthy extra A, sorry, healthy extra B, sorry, um, sort of for slow releasing carbohydrates. So I think porridge will be a good choice and I'll have that with my almond milk. Um, and then for dinner tonight, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna have for dinner tonight. Uh, so I will see anyway, I'll see what Darren wants as well. Um, but yeah, I'll probably get back here just after sort of about half 12, one o'clock. Um, and then I'll have some lunch then. Um, and then I don't know what we're gonna do the rest of the day. I don't think I need to go anywhere. I might head over to B&M with Sydney, do some ink. I don't know. Um, I'll let you know what I get up to and what I eat. So yeah, I'm gonna have some breakfast now because it's 20, you know, it's just gone quarter to seven. Um, and I need to have a shower. I need to wake up and get ready for my race. So I'll speak to you soon. So here's my breakfast. I've got 40 grams of uh, porridge oats, which are my healthy extra beef for today, which I use um, water and also some of my almond milk, which is my healthy extra A. And I've got some of this Clark's dessert topping, which is the 50% less sugar one. I think it's two and a half cents a tablespoon, possibly. Um, I just used just over a teaspoon, I would say. So it's, I'm gonna allow, I'm gonna say two cents just to cover myself. And I've served it with some pear. I've got a lot of pear here. There were two small pears. Um, so that's my pear, for, which is my speed. And I'm also having it with a coffee. So I'm just getting ready for my race um, and I'm going to take a banana with me and an easy peeler just for after the race. I'm absolutely fine now, feel fully stuffed, but I'm just going to take a couple of things um, just sort of to keep me going um, until I get back home. So I am ready for my race. Let me just start the car because I get the car warmed up. It is eight o'clock, so I'm just going to go off and pick my friend up and um, head over to our race over Goodwood way <laughs> and I'll uh, let you know how I get on later. So I'm back, I'm back from my run, my race today and I'm a little bit wet. I've changed my top but everything's soaking wet. <laughs> I even changed my socks and my new socks I put on are still wet because my feet were still damp. So yeah, it was wet. Um, it was started fine, halfway through, it literally just came down. I thought it, it was very, not far off hailstones. It was so like big, big, big rain as rain goes. Um, but I did it, I got my medal. It's very Instagram friendly. Old monochrome. I think this might be my favorite medal so far, actually, just cause it's monochrome. <laughs> But yeah, I'm really pleased I did it. And I don't I don't know what time I did it in, but I ran half it with my friend um, and then halfway, she was really struggling, bless her. Um, and she wanted to walk, but I wanted to carry on running. She said like, go. So I just carried on gently running to try and keep up with her, but then I kind of lost her. Um, and so I just kind of sped up a little bit more. So I think I would have, I think it was about one hour 11, but I, in my previous time when I've done 10Ks, I think I've done it in one hour six. So yeah, between hers and my um, results, yeah, I don't think I was about on time when I was running my own. So if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I wasn't bothered about time. It, I actually really enjoyed the race and I would actually do, definitely do that one again. Hopefully the next time the weather would be better. Um, but now I'm gonna go and have a shower and wash my hair and, oh, I've got a little boy coming. Yeah, hang on, I'll speak to you soon. 
So here's my post-run lunch today. I've got two boiled eggs with ham and some salad with lettuce. Um, and it's a crunchy salad mix, tomatoes and cucumber. I then had a banana, um, followed by a hot chocolate because we watched a film this afternoon. Um, I went for the options mint one, which is two sins. It's five o'clock now and I'm getting a bit hungry and I'm just going to start dinner, but I've decided to have an easy peeler and a plum just for now to tide me over. Dinner tonight is chicken mini fillets using the Spice and Tice Peri 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 seasoning, which has got a bit of a kick. And I've got some potato wedges with using the Spice and Tice chips and wedges seasoning. I'll put my code below, you can get 20% off. I've topped it with um, 20 grams of the lighter cheddar, which is half my healthy extra A, and a salsa salad. And I've also got um, a dollop of lighter than light mayonnaise, which I'm counting one sin for. So I'm finishing the day with this little treat bowl is quark mixed with one sachet of the white options white chocolate for two sins and some frozen cherries and I've also got a curly whirly which is six sins so I'm ending the day on 11 and a half sins. I hope you've enjoyed this video thank you for watching and take care everyone bye.